Okay, before we get started on algebra, I want to have a look at some of the basic order of operation stuff that we've done in term two, but I want to go back and have a look at it again just quickly. So, um, this clip will be available on YouTube at the usual place of the school's uh, YouTube account. So, we start off with our typical bod mass or bid mass rules, brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Now earlier in term two we looked at bod mass and brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. I've changed that around this time because now that you know what indices are, we're going to be able to use those when we're doing our order of operations. So over here it says when solving expressions with more than one operation you need to follow these rules. And you need to follow them in order. Now division and multiplication, addition and subtraction are interchangeable. That is you do division first then multiplication or you can also do multiplication first then division depending on what comes first when reading left to right. Sometimes it's easier to see the rules when written like this. First perform any calculations inside brackets. Next perform any calculations with indices or exponents or powers. Following that, perform all multiplication and division, working from left to right like you're reading across the page. And finally, perform all additions and subtractions, again, working from left to right across the page. So let's do a couple of examples just to, to freshen up a bit. The first one's pretty easy, but we'll have a look at uh, 3 plus 6 times by 5 plus 4 divided by 3 minus 7. Now the first thing we're going to be looking for obviously is brackets so it'll be 3 plus 6 times 5 plus 4 is 9 divided by 3 minus 7. Now following brackets we look for indices there's no indices so we're going to look at multiplication or division whichever comes first from left to right. Now this 6 times 9 comes before the 9 divided by 3. So we're going to have 3 plus 54 divided by 3 minus 7. Again, brackets, indices, no, multiplication, no, division. 54 divided by 3 is our next stop. 3 plus 18 is 54 divided by 3. And we're then going to subtract 7. And finally, and where if I put, there we are, let's find my cursor. We're going to have 21 minus 7 equals 14. So once again, just be careful, brackets first, and then multiplication, division, reading from left to right, addition and subtraction, reading from left to right as well. Let's do another example, this time a bit of a harder one. 5 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 9 divided by 3. So the first thing we're going to do is our brackets. 5 squared minus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. The next thing we're going to have a look at is um, indices. And 5 squared is equal to 25. 25 minus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. Now, no multiplication, but there is a division, so we're going to do our division first. 25 minus 8 plus 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now we can solve left to right addition and subtraction. 25 minus 8 is 17 plus 3. The answer is equal to 20.